Hey everybody, David Karras with Karras Randolph, a local real estate company. And I've been getting a lot of questions about Dave, should I buy a house now? Or should I wait for the lumber prices to go down? Well, the answer to your question is kind of ambiguous, but I'm gonna do my best to explain it. The housing price situation we have going on right now, just a little bit of it has to do with lumber and material prices. The biggest part of it is just the simple economics of supply and demand. We have a shortened supply and a higher demand, thus the prices are going up. The long story short for the lumber price issue, if builders right now are making, let's just say hypothetically $20,000 per house profit margin, when lumber prices go down and they have the opportunity to make $30,000, do you think they're gonna make $30,000 or do you think they're gonna save you $10,000? Another reason I don't see the lumber prices going down affecting pricing is, let's say you're in a community, there's 500 homes in that community, about 200 of them have been bought so far, and you bought one of them, and you paid $300,000 for that house. That same in four months, the same house now costs 280. You're gonna be mad because the builder just cost you 20 grand in negative equity. So the builders aren't going to do that because they don't want everybody coming out uh, that bought a house and start talking bad about them, start threatening to sue them for equity, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What I think you'll start seeing is instead of them raising, you know, the prices by twenty-five or thirty-four thousand, like a community I'm in right now, in a month, you're going to see them start raising it slower. Okay, kind of like before the material shortage, but. Even if we had all the lumber and the lumber is, you know, back down to two dollars a two by four, it still doesn't curb the supply and the demand issue. And that's truly what's causing this. So one way that we can look at fixing the supply and demand issue is if you want to sell a house, put the house on the market. Okay. I kind of equate this to the great toilet paper shortage of 2020. We wouldn't have had a toilet paper shortage in 2020 if it weren't for certain people hoarding it, which caused other people the fear of missing out and they start hoarding it and stocking up and things like that. And so if everybody had done everything like normal, we probably wouldn't have had a toilet paper shortage. So think about it. If there's a hundred people in the San Antonio area that want to sell a house, but they're not selling a house because they feel that there's not a house to go to, there's a hundred houses off the market when maybe 85 to 90 of those 100 would have been able to find a house out of that 100 and relocate to. So that kind of affects the supply and demand issue as well. So I would encourage you, yes, it's kind of scary out there, but if you have a good realtor such as myself, we've got different tools and techniques that we can negotiate into contracts to kind of bridge that gap, shorten some of that risk, take some of that anxiety off. So if you're thinking about selling your house, but you're kind of concerned about the pricing and what's gonna to happen to it and where you're gonna go when that time comes to sell your house and, and everything, give me a call, send me a message. A 15, 20 minute conversation is free. We can just kind of see what your goals are, how I can help you achieve those goals. So call me at 210-319-9713. Let's just take a chat. Chats are free and no risk. Take care and have a great day.